Starting with this episode, I figure I'll go over the fundamentals of a Ruby metaprogramming and some of the fun uh, you could have with it. Let me first start by creating a class named June and simply putting a method named hello. Nothing too special there. Okay, this time we'll create another method uh, called please say hi. It will be a little more polite. But uh, if you look at please say hi, there's, there are spaces between the method name. And wouldn't it be great if you could call it june.new and please say hi? Uh, we're going to do that actually. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. The way we do it is rather than using def, we actually call define underscore method. And we pass in the name of the method that we're going to do it in the form of a string in a double quotation. Now you could put a colon before a uh, first double quote and then you will symbolize it and either one works. Now in order to call that method you have to actually send the method name to the object. Now when we execute it you'll see that the method works. So you have a method name with the spaces in there. So as you can see there are two ways of defining a method in a class. Uh, one is using normal def uh, followed by name that we all know and uh, closing with end. Then there's actually using define method uh, where you pass in a block. And it is the define underscore method that actually we'll use for me uh, lots of metaprogramming. Okay, now that we have defined instance methods, let's go ahead and cl create class methods because they're a little different and this is where the real metaprogramming really kicks in. So let's uh, define a method called say hello. Now you think that putting self dot define method just as you've done with uh, dev, we create a class method and let's go ahead and do it. The problem is that this won't work. The reason is that class is an object just like any other things in Ruby. Therefore, in order to uh, call define method method, you will have to actually define that in the meta class. And I've heard people referring the meta class as anonymous class, or in Dave Thomas's case, he's calling it a ghost class, but nevertheless, they're the same. So in order for us to invoke that method on June class, we will have to actually define that method and actually put it into the uh, meta class of the June class. I know this sounds a little confusing, but uh, once you see it, then you'll get it. The way to get to the uh, meta class is simply doing class uh, less than less than self and return self and ending it. That gives you the access to the meta class and that's how, that's how you get to it. And when you do class eval on it, you're actually putting the method directly into that uh, meta class. So when we execute it, you could see that everything's fine. So in this episode, I showed you how a method can be defined and how to get to the meta class. Just one more thing though. Using define method, if you want to pass along a parameter, then this is how you do it. You basically uh, put the parameters in the block. And it will be the same as this. And this is how you call it. Well, that's it for this episode. And in the future, I plan on covering more metaprogramming fun. And this is a basic fundamentals that you need to have. So go ahead and try some of these techniques on your own. There are a lot to be discovered in Ruby. That was wonderful! Bravo! I loved that! Oh, it was great! Well, it was pretty good. Well, it wasn't bad. Well, there were parts of it that weren't very good, it though. It could have been a lot better. I didn't really like it. It was pretty terrible. It was bad. It was awful! It was terrible! Get him away! Hey, boo! Boo!